Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the church, and this time, Audianism. Audianism is special because it was a group of people who were defined by having multiple different incorrect beliefs about the faith, and because of that you won't find any real Audians anymore. In the 300s, there was a man named Audius who lived in Syria. He held a couple of dissenting views on the faith and taught those views to others, which is who the Audians were. The first strange view held by the Audians was that God naturally had a human form. To support this, they used a verse in Genesis which reads, And God created man in his own image. For the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Genesis 1, 27 Audius's position was that this verse needed to be taken entirely literally, and therefore that God must have been shaped like a human being in order to make human beings in his image. However, one problem with this view of God is that many verses in the Bible that describe the appearance of God do so with attributes and features that human beings don't have, such as, And the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he saw that the bush was on fire and was not burnt. Exodus 3, 2. Fire and... He will overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings thou shalt trust. Psalm 90, 4. Wings. A winged, flaming creature, no matter how humanoid, is not exactly the image of human beings. However, more importantly, God is a spirit. And they that adore him must adore him in spirit and in truth. John 4.24 The Bible outright says that God is a spirit, and spirits don't naturally have bodily forms. So the conclusion that makes the most sense is that the description of physical qualities attributed to God are either symbols of qualities that he has, or are representations of the power of God, but aren't meant to be taken as literal parts of a body of God. The second view that the Audians held, which went against what was being taught in the church at the time, was the view that Easter should be celebrated on the day of the Passover, not on Easter Sunday, as defined by the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD. This view was already plainly contrary to the decisions of the church in the mid to late 300s when they held it, and yet they continued to hold it through at least the 380s, ignoring the words of St. Paul, who wrote, but if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. 1 Timothy 3.15 By choosing to go against the pillar and ground of the truth, the Audians separated themselves from truth and embraced a false position, which is why their positions are now considered heretical. In fact, we have different names for each, when someone holds the view that God naturally has a human-like body, we call that anthropomorphism. When they insist that Easter should be celebrated on the Passover, that person is called a quartodeciman. Next time, what was Macedonianism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.